hello hi welcome to hello hi welcome to khamar mumbai channel and uh, uh, it's a uh, tuesday afternoon good afternoon to everyone here in india so i am from hyderabad my name is sheikh khamaruddin and let's start about the uh, courses that we can join in mtech after doing be btech in civil engineering so after civil engineering what should we join so this is the question in everyone's mind uh, so mostly most of the people have uh, the choices of joining mtech or joining a job or joining uh, some research and joining some uh, software learning some software or what what are the things that we can do after okay uh, joining uh, after doing the beb tech in civil engineering so i have a uh, few of the courses uh, to tell you about what we can join in uh, civil engineering mtech that is me mtech so that we have the courses like structural engineering okay transportation engineering and uh, geotechnical engineering infrastructural engineering environmental engineering project management okay and more to marine engineering and also earthquake engineering so these are the courses that you can join in me mtech or ms so what is the difference between me mtech and ms uh, ms is nothing but master in science and you can join uh, most of these courses uh, okay this degree you get in uh, okay abroad or international uh, colleges and also the mtech is uh, mtech and me are equivalent me you have a few of the universities in india that provide me uh, your degree and mtech uh, is the degree from the technological college like iit nit so these uh, are the courses Mo most of the uh, engineering universities provide this uh, degree with different names but uh, they have all equal rights and uh, you get the same benefit out of those so what courses you need to join i have told already the list of the courses now so uh, i will go in detail in one one by one what are the courses you can join so first i have talked talked you about structural engineering that most of the people uh, do after civil engineering that is uh, uh, structural engineering what you going to learn so you will be uh, having a feasibility study in the uh, structural engineering that is you will go in detailed project report you know about the detail uh, report and the detail analysis of the project you are going to do you are going to going under structural analysis and design in structural engineering then you are going to know about the detail engineering of uh, the structure and you are going to do the seismic analysis okay uh, you can con you can uh, just comment below if uh, the connection is not good because it's showing poor connection here so okay so i am telling you about the detailed engineering and uh, seismic uh, analysis and design you can do and also the bridges you can uh, able to design now after joining structural engineering you are going to do post tension post tension slabs you are going to design the post tension structures okay so that is one of the subject you are going to learn in a structural engineering so i am a structural engineer so i am uh, able to tell you about the more uh, beneficial thing in a structural engineering so what you going to learn is again flat slabs and beams you can learn in structural engineering again uh, you can go for design of power plant cement plant structures okay you will know about the material handling what are the uh, composition of the materials okay then steel chimney design you can do you can do warehouse structures you can do cold form steel structures steel structures you are now able to design with more accuracy and now uh, you are pre engineered buildings you can uh, already okay design so dynamic analysis of machine foundation also you can design and also the foundation with uh, steel steel components so that is a composite foundation you can design and you can also evaluate the uh, damage caused due to the earthquake and uh, also the retrofitting of the building can, you can do after 
uh, getting into the structural engineering course. So after that, the second one comes here is nothing but your structural, in, uh, okay, infrastructure engineering. The structural engineering I already finished, that is the first one that most of the people join. Now infrastructure engineering is nothing but, uh, it is, uh, you have to do is, uh, what you learn is survey, that is DTM and contour maps you are now able to do. Highways and railways alignment design you can do and also you can do the area and volume calculations of the irrigation canal design and irrigation uh, structures you can design now. Earth work quantity calculations you can do. Okay, then cross section and longitudinal section of the reservoir, okay, mod reservoir modeling, watershed, everything you can design. Now you can uh, design the mining, uh, mining quantity, you can design the canal and uh, you can design the tunnels, everything you can design now because uh, and you can go for the design of uh, um, bridges and uh, tall towers, tall buildings, okay, tower design you can do in infrastructure. So all the structure, the structural component uh, that comes uh, with uh, greater things, okay, big, big projects you can do after joining the infrastructure engineering. So these courses are provided by IITs and NITs and uh, the MS uh, abroad international engineering institutes okay so next uh, what we have are environmental engineering so the third is environmental engineering and environmental engineering uh, uh, in that you can learn what about is wastewater network analysis storm water network okay water supply and also treatment plant structures that you can uh, do also sewage or uh, sewage drawing or wastewater okay uh, drainage systems so that you can design and uh, the survey and also uh, pipe uh, en engineering comes under that and also the fluid mechanics comes under that so the environmental engineering uh, most of the people uh, doesn't go under so if you join then you will be the monopoly under that and you can join the irrigation department of india or any other parts of the world you can go easily because very few people join that environmental engineering after B. So next comes under geotechnical engineering. Geotechnical engineering, what you do is geotechnical investigation in that slope stability analysis, earth pressure you calculate and you know how to design the retaining wall design, okay. You know about the soil needing and soil stability, okay and uh, you know the underground underground soil structures study you do that and the seepage analysis tunnels and also deep excavation problems you can solve after uh, doing the geotechnical engineering and also next comes under okay the project management uh, most of the people uh, join uh, who have the business mind in, uh, in them they join the project management course after civil engineering the project management or the construction management uh, in that you can do project plan development, execution and control, schedule development, resource planning, okay, cost budgeting and cost control, procurement planning, vendor solicitation, contract administration, quality assurance and quality control and project coordination. These all things you can learn after doing project management in MTech. And the next thing comes under is nothing but, okay, the marine engineering. The marine engineering is a course of very few of the colleges or institution provide this uh, uh, solution that is the marine engineering and marine engineering in that what you learn is a ship designing okay structures on the sea on the waterbed okay structures uh, related to the oil and gas companies okay and uh, the submarines you can design in marine engineering one of my friend uh, did marine engineering from IIT Kharagpur and he is now doing the job with Indian government for design of submarines in Mumbai. So he is having good package of salary after doing this. So very few people get to, uh, uh, okay, get this admission in marine engineering. And once they got it, they have full pledge of life beyond their, okay, completion of this course. So after that, the uh, genuine and the last, uh, okay, engineering 
that is mtech you can do is nothing but earthquake engineering then earthquake and structural are mostly the same but in earthquake the def uh, define defined as mostly for earthquake people so the earthquake resistance building you can design after uh, jo after joining the earthquake engineering seismic resistant building that is nothing but earthquake okay earthquake resistant building and retrofitting of the structures that is uh, the structures which got destroyed during the earthquake or any disaster that you can uh, again retrofit it or re regain the structure and make it uh, stable so dynamic analysis what you do in that p delta analysis you will learn pushover time history analysis all these things you will learn and also you will uh, uh, learn about the tall buildings and their structural systems uh, that can be studied in structural that is earthquake engineering so this earthquake engineering you have seen so this is the last uh, engineering i have uh, told you about uh, in this list of uh, uh, mtech courses so mtech courses what i have told you again i am telling you that uh, structural engineering transportation engineering geotechnical engineering infrastructure engineering environmental engineering project management okay marine engineering and earthquake engineering I forgot to tell about uh, transportation engineering. What you do is uh, uh, in transportation engineering. Okay, in transportation engineering, you uh, design the roads. Okay, and uh, you design uh, design the railways. Okay, airports and everything that comes under transportation. So these are the things you you do in transportation engineering also. So here completes uh, the list of uh, the engineering. Uh, courses that you do in mtech so do like share and uh, subscribe uh, this video and uh, also my channel and uh, as much as you can do you spread this news so the people who are going to join mtech they can get benefited by this video so thank you for watching bye bye for the next time okay come to my life early and wanna have a day have a nice day. Good day. Bye-bye.